Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And you ashamed that the people that you are with they were mentioned in the abduction. And clearly, I mean, when people working in state house do such a thing, it is definitely coming from the principal himself. So we are not talking about JJ's abduction. Why are we not talking about JJ's abduction? Why are we not talking about the people that JJ announced? And look, the way things are, it doesn't matter whether JJ was lying or whatever, whatever. At least these people must be questioned. This people must be questioned. And if you are saying JJ was lying against these people, the issue is, what is the truth? You cannot just say, no, woofy, this is a lie. And yet you don't give the truth. So you people, Imewa Tawukawana, Imewa Jack Mwimbu, Iwe Cornelius Mwetua, Ba Echechi, when you are saying JJ abducted himself, it is not true that Hamasaka and the Levin Goma are the ones that abducted him. Fair. Good. Now tell us. Because you are, you are the investigators. You are the investigators. So tell us now who abducted JJ. If you are refusing, JJ is saying the people that abducted me is Hamasaka and Levin Goma. Levin Goma, the political advisor to President Haka Indi Ichirema, Hamasaka, the, uh, at the director of media of President Haka Indi Ichirema, these are the people that abducted me. JJ Banda, the member of parliament for Petauke, was abducted by some people. JJ comes out, he points at the people that are working with the president. These are the people that abducted me. And these people, they have not been questioned. Instead, they have gone to report to, to the police to say we are being defamed. And the police have gone quiet about it. They have gone quiet about it. And the minister and other government officials are coming out to say, no, it is not true what JJ said. And yet you are not telling us your other story. If you are saying these people are not the ones that abducted JJ, then we want to hear the story. Tell us the story. What happened? How did JJ abduct himself? Where did he go for those days that he was missing? Where did he go? Who dumped him at that place? Tell us your story. Who was involved? Tell us your story. Don't just say no. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Yes, we have heard a bit actually, because not everything. You have muzzled JJ. You have not been able to allow JJ to, to, to say. But what we have gotten, this is the story. Levi Ngoma, presidential political advisor, and a Hamasaka, media director. These are the people that abducted the member of parliament for Petauke. The state so far has not told us any other story other than this one. And yet they refuse to say, no, these people are not the ones. And these people have not been questioned. This, this is what happens when we are living in a dictatorship. This is what happens when we are living in a dictatorship. And now look, after JJ, after JJ's abduction, you, you didn't even allow him to go home. You put him in, uh, 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 in police custody. You have kept JJ in police custody. You couldn't even allow him to, to, to recover from the torture that he, went, that he underwent. You couldn't allow him to, to recover. And his health 
kept on deteriorating. He kept, it kept on deteriorating. And who knows, JJ would have died. By the grace of God, some people realized this man might die. They rescued JJ. JJ was rescued. It is not a plan like you are trying to make it to say people planned it. No. People rescued JJ. People rescued JJ. And not all those people that you are talking about. It is people within the system. People within the system who are tired of the dictatorship of Waka in the HDM. Who are tired to seeing people suffering. I can assure you, even this Fred member, or Mubikire Marcells, a number of people around who are going there, they are sympathizing with him. I can assure you that. I can assure you that because even me, yes, outside you are hearing it, the has been at the end and you took me to waste places and everything. Yes, but after the police, they do whatever they are weak. They were coming back and sympathizing with me. They were coming back and sympathizing with me. Knowing very well that really, I, I'm an innocent person. I haven't done anything. All I've done is to speak for people as a public lawyer. So they used to sympathize with me. Even Fred members, I'm talking, police officers, they can do, they can look, they can put up a, 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 a facade. They can put up a facade, but really, deep down their hearts, they are sympathizing with the opposition. And this is the encouragement that I want to give to my brothers and sisters in the opposition. That don't relent. Don't relent. Don't fear. Most of these police officers that are actually harassing us, they are looking forward for they are looking forward to us liberating them. They are looking forward to us liberating them. They are tired with Haka in the HLM, but they don't want Haka in the HLM. They can't express it. But they are tired with Haka in the HLM. They don't want Haka in the HLM. Especially for police, they are the, they, they are the least. They are the least appreciated under Haka in the HLM. The least appreciated. But the most abused. Waka Pokola, Muli Muteko Waka and Haka in the HLM. They are the least appreciated. But most abused. Most abused. You abuse them left, right, and center. You overwork them. You don't give them allowances. You don't consider their salaries. You have been talking about how salaries. They are to harmonize the salaries. There was that, that plan to harmonize the salaries and positions of police officers. Nothing up to now. Nothing. Nothing. And on top of that, you are now getting, you know, some of these people that you believe that because they are your tribesmen, you are putting them on top of senior officers, people that have served in the, in the, in, in the system for so many years. And you are putting them down. You are bringing young people just because he is Tonga and you put them on top. People are being very, very frustrated. Somebody was telling me, that he has worked in the police for 24 years. 24 years he has worked. And he was teaching some of, the, some of these people uh, at the police college. And now these very people, they are jumping on top of him. They are on top of him. We are having some people, you know, uh, uh, like in the military. I'm a, a people who, who did their training and they have been there for a long time. They have not even been commissioned. They have not even been commissioned. And we have people who came yesterday. They are being commissioned and being promoted. These things are real. These things are real. So these people, they are looking, they are looking to us. They are looking to us. In I am here, but a lot of them are speaking to me. They are expressing their frustration. It is not mutiny. They are human beings, these people. And they are not saying we want to take over Aka in the HLM. No. Because if these people decided to take over Aka in the HLM, you would not even be there. It can't last. Aka in the HLM doesn't have soldiers. We have disciplined men and women in uniform. Very disciplined. 
But politicians, Makamaka Waka in Chilima, he is abusing them. This is why we need to change. We need to change. By Ed Galungu, you are coming in. By Ed Galungu, you are coming in. And I'm glad. I hope many of you, you have read. But Ed Galungu himself has said it. He has put it there. He's going to be on the ballot. So even as you are coming back by Ed Galungu, people are looking up to you. By Ed Galungu, by Ed Galungu, I'm telling you, people are crying. People are looking forward to your coming. People want you to come and liberate them. And you should do just that. It is not a time to come and, you know, start enjoying and whatever, whatever. But Ed Galungu, you are coming to liberate people. I want now that you learn. In every, in every sector. In every sector of our society and government, I want to know you learn. By Ed Galungu, you need to come back. You need to come in and save the people. So, Mwewantu, Mwewa bin, you people who have been doubting, Ushe, Ed Galungu, Shan Shani, Ushari serious. Ed Galungu is very serious. I am speaking to you on firm ground. Ed Galungu is very serious. Ed Galungu is going to be on the ballot. He's going to be on the ballot. He is going to be on the ballot. Ed Galungu is going to be on the ballot. I know you are also scared to say, no, inga kukoti, whatever, whatever. Uliomula ndua wa kukoti, it has already been ruled upon. Wali puaka leo uliomula ndu. Wali puaka leo uliomula ndu. Bali yama ama, yobali yama nituwa nika nebali yama president of the, of the concord. Eh, Vamu nalula. If, 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 if she wants to overturn the judgment of the very court that she belongs to, that would be a scandal. That would be a scandal. And I don't know what would happen, what is going to happen. I don't know what is going to happen. Because like I'm saying, some of these people are very frustrated. You don't know how far they will go. So you cannot push people too much. This is something that you need to be very careful. You need to be very, very careful. Don't stretch the people's patience and emotions too much. Don't stretch it too much. Don't stress the people's patience and emotions too much. Because they can break. Because patience and emotions, they are like an elastic. You can only pull it up to a certain extent. Otherwise, it's going to cut. Ikaputuka. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.